Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I figured it's been a while since I've played a random map on GeoGuessr, but scrolling to the bottom of the screen here today, it seems that feature has gone uh, or is perhaps temporarily replaced. So, um, you know, it doesn't seem like there's there's too much there. There used to be a button down here for, 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 for play a random map. Um, so anyway, I was scrolling around and I saw on the editor's choice section here, US Capitals we played um, just yesterday, a balanced world, but I was taken by this one here, Eiffel Tower replicas and derivatives. Okay, interesting. I actually thought, how many of those are there in the world? That seems a bit strange. It's created by John Worth. So I figured we'd give this one a try. The most comprehensive map of replica and derivative Eiffel Towers, Eiffel Towers on GeoGuessr. Currently, 400, sorry, 100 towers, let me get this right, in 44 countries. And the original is in there too. Well, that, this was updated just a few days ago in March 2021. The average score is moderate at 12,165. 100 locations. I like the sound of it. It sounds interesting. And, you know, I would have no idea where other Eiffel Tower locations are. So let's hit play. Um, got the usual time limit here. I think I'll stick with that. See how we do. What was that? So it was 100 locations in 44 countries, wasn't it? And there's, there's the next one. So, goodness, look at that. Yes, it's definitely Eiffel Tower-esque. I can see where he's got it from. So that's a fair shout. This isn't the Eiffel Tower. It looks like we're in Asia. This, these cars here look Asian. And in fact, this gentleman is sitting on the right-hand side of his car. So... I think that that's, that's Japan, right? We've got here Gyu Katsu Kyoto Katsugyu. So Kyoto there, the name of a major city in Japan. So I think that that rather seals the deal, to be honest, already. Um, let's get into Kyoto, which is just north of Osaka, and see if we can find ourselves a tall tower a la Eiffel Tower-esque. Now, there's a lot going on here. Um, all sorts of things have come up. These are all stations, so I'm going to ignore the blue writing and try and focus on the main attractions. We've got the Imperial Palace up here, the Botanical Gardens, Kyoto Institute of Technology. Um, I don't really... I'm not really sure where downtown Kyoto is. This is this metropolitan area, first of all, is absolutely ginormous, and it blends completely into Osaka. So, I mean, if you travel from Osaka to Kyoto, you, you never leave uh, one city. You just go to another. Um, I have no idea where downtown Kyoto is. We've got the Botanic Gardens here um, and the Imperial Palace and a few other things. But if I'm honest, I've been to Kyoto and I don't remember there being any tall structures around here. So I think I'm just going to go sort of closer down like here, basically. Kyoto Tower. There we go. Well, that's that's probably it, isn't it? Um, let's see if this looks observation tech deck with a touchscreen guide I mean that, that's got to be it surely surely let's just double check which side we're on here so we're looking east at this so that puts us to the west of the Kyoto Tower uh, maybe a block or two away not quite sure but if we head south we should come across a major railway station Um, let's get another look at that building whilst we're there. Heading south here and not coming across a major railway station, so that's a bit worrying. But I think I've rather committed to... Look at this, we've got... We're in quite a major shopping district, actually. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger, Michael Kors, all the rest of it. So does that feel right? Well, look, I mean, I thought that this was a train station, but it isn't. The train station is further down here. Look, I think I'm going to go with this and quit talking. Um, and so we were wrong there. We weren't in Kyoto at all after all that chit-chat. We were in Nagoya, uh, which wasn't a million miles away, actually. So the points aren't too bad, but we have essentially completely botched it. Um, so <laughs> let's move on to the next round. 
Oh, right. Wow. Well, look at that. That's just amazing. Yeah, it's definitely an Eiffel Tower replica. Looks like it's made from wood. Sun is in the south there, so this puts us in the north. We've got a bit of writing, so let's check this out. Soying. Uh, possibly French. Is that signage France? Let's just take another look at that a bit closer to the, to the thing, because the rest of it was blurred out. Uh, 750 meters, D23, S-O-I-N-G, S-O-I-N-G, D23. Uh, got some other signs behind, uh, facing the other way here, so let's check these out. Come on, S-O-I-N-G, D23. Oh, goodness sake, we can't see that at all. D23 again there. And we're leaving Soing, S-O-I-N-G. So we know where we are. We've got the French flag here as well, flying at the top of the uh, Tour de Ville. So um, we know we are in France. The question is where, where uh, are we? And we know we are in the town of Esso Soing, but um, en rue de Breville. Here we go. These are more major cities, but I don't. Fedri. I don't recognize that at all. Let's just get in there. Uh, so we're just going to put a, a pin down in the middle of France just for safety's sake. Uh, I don't see a song here and I am unlikely to do so because it's a small town. Fedri is more likely to pop up because that is signposted. Um, but, you know, it feels like we're going to be around this region to me. I don't, I don't know why. It just does. I'm just going to have a quick scan for Frederic at this level. But again, it's an, another place I've not heard of. I'm just hoping it pops up like Disease does here, for example. Vitel, Toul, Provence, Rem. Rem is a big town. Beauvais. Fleur, maybe we're up here. Uh, we're also, you know, the D23 was the other clue, right? So maybe we could just zoom in a little there, but it's going to be too far away, I think, to... Uh, it, it, it's almost kind of not worth not worth really finding, to be honest, um, in the time that we have. Of course, if we had unlimited time here, we would be, we would be going after this, but we don't. We've got 35 seconds, so what else can we do to try and narrow this down? Probably not too much. I, Fortunately, I feel like the time has rather fallen away from us. We can enjoy this lovely town. I mean, why don't we do that with our 20 seconds? Because it's just just gorgeous. Look at that. I mean, that's amazing. So wherever it is, we know it's going to be beautiful. Um, one to add to the post-COVID travel list, shall we say. Uh, we've made it to the center here, I think. So, you know, I'll leave us with the view of that. Perhaps we could have explored a bit further. But um, no, curious to see where, where we've ended up. So a little further east than where I was, actually we were towards uh, Pussy and Grey. We saw that actually, we saw Grey on the map, so you know, could have, could have bet there. But um, we were actually, where were we then? In Soing Coubry Chartonnet. Um, just, just gorgeous. I mean, that's where we were. So, you know, what, what part of France is that in? That's sort of East France really, isn't it? Pretty much bang in the middle. Yeah. So uh, there you go, Eastern France, the place to go. Looks lovely. Next round. Sure enough, we've got another Eiffel Tower replica here. Um, this one looks like it's made out of some more metal. Um, no flag at the top, unfortunately, so we can't rely on that. Um, but we've got here Museu, M-U-S-E-U. -E so don't know about the spelling of that, what language that might be in. And... We've got a billboard though. Uh, Medicis.pt. .pt. Is that right? That's not P L. Maybe. Bahoika. Interesting. I mean, initial thinking is Portugal. 
PT, but I don't know. The sun is very muted. My Spanish and versus Portuguese is not very good either, so it could easily be confusing the two there. It sort of sounds like it's right, but, you know, por escola de la excelencia, excelencia, PT, Portugal. So maybe, maybe. Let's progress. Let's learn from our round in France just then and, and try and progress down the road a bit and obtain some more clues. Let's see here at the petrol station. Are we working in euros? Uh, well, it doesn't say at all. It doesn't have anything on it. Um, sort of in a pretty big town here. It could be Portugal on a on an overcast day pretty easily. Uh, let's see. First of all, let's rule out sort of South America. Yeah, we've got the European plates there. So we're definitely in Europe. Uh, so I think that, that that feels about right. And look, we've made it through some luck or Fonte Canova, Cru and Cavaras uh, we've got there. We've also got some more signs here. So we should be able to do well here. We've got the A17 coming up. Pombal Casal Novo. So I think we just need to look for this now and get in there. There's another sign as well. Portugal's not a big country. So we should be able to nail this. Let's Let's... We've got a minute to go. Do we see an A17? Unfortunately, I don't see anything. Yes, okay, the A17 is there. Starts from Aviero. And what's the city that we're looking for? Pombal, Casal Novo. Not sure. I did say nail this earlier. Um, perhaps we won't nail it. Might be a bit of an exaggeration, but... A17 finishes down here. It doesn't, yeah, it looks like it doesn't go on any further there. So, safety pin going down. Just scrolling up here. Pombal and Casal Novo. I don't see either of those, but it is hard to. And the road names change. So, Coimbra, going to go there, going to go with this town. Ah, shouldn't have moved. Damn. I think I was a bit further south. Monte Redondo is where we were. Monte Redondo. Okay, so good. Look, we were close there, I think. Um, there was another sign also on the... Um, at that junction that I didn't even get the chance to look at. So with a little longer, we'd perhaps have nailed that one. So who'd have thought there'd be an Eiffel Tower replica in Portugal? Wow. Well, would you look at this? This is absolutely quite something. This is just, I mean, amazing. This is a true Eiffel Tower replica. It looks very real to me. Uh, obviously, the buildings behind it, you know, give away the game. Now, I don't know where this is, but I'm going to give my initial thoughts without moving. I know that there is a mock Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas. That's very famous. Um, and uh, there's a restaurant in the building and so on. And it's all probably part of some casino complex and all the rest of it. This feels more Southeast Asian. And uh, I happen to know that, you know, the Las Vegas of Asia is, is considered to be Macau. So I would put my, my chips here, shall we say. Uh, it's taken, this photo has been taken by Wang Qing Kai. Uh, so... You know, that sounds like a like an Asian name, to be honest. And we see here some sculpture, for example, which also looks, you know, a little, a little, um, well, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest, but it sort of looks like it feels right, doesn't it? So it wouldn't surprise me if this Eiffel Tower structure had been recreated here. And it definitely looks like we're in a hotel, you know, district like Las Vegas, right? That, that's that's perhaps something I didn't say earlier, that, but, you know, it's implied here. And so we've got here the Parisian, okay? So, I mean, that's fantastic. Other options are... Oh, actually, we can't move. Ah, we're in a photosphere, so that's that. Um, other options are Philippines, okay? I mean, I think the Philippines is, is a bit of a gambling place, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So we can't move, and I'm not going to talk myself into the time limit here. Let's get out and get to Macau. Uh, Macau is just across, oh, whoops, um, just across from Hong Kong. Uh, and 
you know, I don't, I, I mean, I've never been to Macau, so I've got absolutely no idea what, what it looks like, but. So I think this is it, Central District. Yeah, so this is, you know, Hotel Wynn, Lisbon Casino Wynn. Macau Pass Trade Center. So I'm just looking. So uh, we need to figure a few things out. Come on, give me, some, give me a break. The road we're on goes north-south and the building is to the west. So the road we're on it goes north-south and the building is to the west. So we need to look for sort of major north-south. The Sands Macau, the Harbour View. It's not actually cropping up, so we this might be wrong. I'm I'm prepared to to be wrong here. Um, it definitely feels like we're on a major boulevard, and it, you know it doesn't look like there's much of those here. So I, I've got a pin down in Macau. I've got 17 seconds to go. I'm going to try and check out the Philippines as well. Nine seconds to go. It's not going to happen. So. Um, I think I'll leave us there. I'm not sure if Manila would have been the right city anyway, but... Um, oh, we were right. Ah, okay. So, uh, frustrating there, perhaps a little, but we were actually right with our ideas then, so I'm glad I didn't change my my guess to, to Manila. It's just a different part of the city, it seems, across on this different island. Um, I did, had no idea that this was, you know, part of <coughs> part of Macau. Uh, but here, look, a much, much major, si more major city, um, more major road, sorry, in the city. And we can instantly see the Hotel Parisian in Macau. So, you know, that, that's, that's totally correct. So um, we were close there. Didn't quite nail it, but, but close. Okay, next round. Too much talking on my part, I think, once again. Oh, and would you look at that? This is an absolutely gorgeous little replica of the building. Um, let's get a, get a shimmy shimmy on, shall we say? And perhaps just leaving the town here, there might be a few signs. Uh, in fact, this truck really kind of helps us out. CV Royden, International Transport of Holland, and so on. Now, just because the truck says it doesn't mean we're in Holland, uh, or the Netherlands, rather. Uh, of course, it literally says International Transport on it. So the truck could quite easily be in another country. Um, here we get a sign here saying that we are leaving... I think that says Breil, B-R-E-I-L. Uh, it's got a line through it, which doesn't help, but we'll be able to f have the correct answer here on the on the right-hand side. And we're back on the D road, so does that put us in France again? I'm not should know this, but I don't. Sign is unfortunately blurred out all the way through. B-R-E-I-L, B-R-E-I-L. So it feels like it could be France, to be honest. Uh, we're passing again the house there with the Eiffel Tower, so that's very good. Let's get in there and see if we've got more French. Uh... <laughs> yeah, so, attention, priority à droite, that means priority to the right, uh, dans la agglomération. I don't know what that means, but I think it means, you know, there's something down here where you have to give way. Um, maybe here, at this junction, for example. So we're in France, definitely. Um, B-R-E-I-L is the name of the town, Preil. Um, what do we have here? We've got some place names on these signs. So Parquet, Le Pont, Noyon. I think these places are just too small to like, to, to know, you know? I just don't know them. So we're gonna have to take some guesses as to where we are. This feels like more like Northern France, to be honest, than the previous one. N-O-Y-A-N-T. What do we have here? And and the D-86 again. So let's just try and get in there. I think that's the best we can do. We'll put down some guesses and scan around a bit. I'm going to sort of stick to northern France here, I think. And get in a little more. Parquet Le Pont. What was the other one as well? Just going to look at these because there's more... Um, Oh, there is also a sign here. Let's get that. Miege. 
And this one began with an N, didn't it? What was this one? Noyant. Twenty two seconds. Does anyone see Noyant? N O Y A N T. Unfortunately, not. Oh, but we were getting there. Ah, oh, damn, that is really frustrating. I think I was here. So we might have just oh, found that, but uh, coulda, shoulda, woulda, easy to say, hard to do. Game finished, well done, 22,109 points. Well, look, I think that was a lot of fun. We found some new places in the, in the world there that, you know, definitely never been to before or seen on GeoGuessr. So really enjoyed playing the random map and discovering some Eiffel Towers. I hope you did too. Encourage you all to play the fun and funky games on GeoGuessr. I think that's what it's all about, and I personally take a lot of enjoyment from it all. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.